I run into this problem a lot with new producers. I think I've downloaded a plugin, did I install it right, and where did it go? The first couple times you're doing this, there's several ways to get confused. So let's break down the steps to downloading, installing, finding, and then using new plugins. For this video, I've chosen Wider. This is a plugin that I recommend to new Logic users. It's also free, which makes this easier. Before starting the process of installing a new plugin, I would close Logic or any application that might want to use this plugin. Video editing, other DAWs, music notation software, you get the idea. You can find Wider at polyversemusic.com. Go to the products, click on Wider, and then click on download. You'll be asked to give a name and an email and then a link will be sent to your email. And some plugins won't use email, they'll download directly from the site. Find the email in your inbox or maybe in your junk folder, then choose Wider for Mac OS. Your download should start and it probably winds up in your download folder. Open the DMG file, click on Wider Setup, and follow the install directions from there. Just click on Agree and Continue. At this point, your plugin should be installed. When you open Logic Next, it will scan for new plugins and verify it. So now let's open up Logic and find it. Logic uses AU plugins. That stands for audio units. You will commonly see AU and VST plugins. When you installed Wider, you installed both kinds, and that's what I would do with all plugins. I've got a new session with a software instrument track. You could also have an audio track, and the process would be the same. Now, Wider is an effect plugin. It works on how something sounds, not on creating a new sound like a synth. To find it, go to your Audio FX on this track, scroll down to Audio Units, and look for the Polyverse folder. In this case, mine's right here, and then just click on Wider. You don't have to click on the Mono to Stereo in this case, just click on Wider. And now your Wider plugin is inserted on this track. If it didn't automatically open like mine, I'll close this, just click on Wider, and now it's set to be used. If you click on the red circle in the upper left-hand corner, that will close it, but it's still functioning. It's on your track, it's inserted, and it will still work. If you want to get rid of or replace this plugin, just click on the disclosure arrows to the right and go up to no plugin or to whatever plugin you want to use. So what if you downloaded an instrument such as Vital, which is a synthesizer plugin you can program and play with a MIDI keyboard? You won't find this in the audio effects. You'll find it in the instrument inserts. So go to instruments, scroll down to audio unit instruments, find vital, click on vital, and now it's inserted. In some cases, the download process may use an installer like this one at native instruments. You'll download the installer and you'll find it in your apps. This installer will handle the installs and the updates, and the plugins will wind up in the same location in Logic, depending if they're an effects or a software instrument. Okay, I hope that gets you off the ground with downloading, installing, finding, and then being able to use third-party plugins in Logic. I'll follow up with more videos on plugins I recommend and how to troubleshoot when something doesn't work right. These are the steps to get this done, so try it out and let me know what you think.